Good morning people and today is uh, day 5 of the wake up early challenge and uh, as you saw on my screenshot I woke up at 5.10 a.m. Uh, once again without the alarm clock and that is really nice. I'm so happy that I'm able to condition my mind and my body to wake up at the time. I tell him to wake up when I sleep in the night. So. I hope this remains this way and I'm able to continue and build this as a sustainable practice in my life going forward. Um, all thanks to you for joining me on this journey. Today I went to see Oppenheimer. It impacted my sleep really badly last night. I looked at the movie from the point of view of psychology, of how great minds like Albert Einstein, J. Robert Oppenheimer, people who actually created technologies that changed the face of the universe. What was their mental state? What was going on in their minds? Nobody would really know what exactly they went through. The kind of anger, the kind of frustrations, the kind of sadness, loneliness, and the kind of things they thought about while they were setting out to discover these amazing things that we know of today. Most of them ended up being very lonely in life. This thought actually impacted my sleep so badly that I actually woke up around three to four times last night just thinking about the movie. Even in the morning, while I did end up waking at 5.10, I was not in a great mood. I took a little while to get off the bed and then I was having this very heavy feeling in my heart. With this heavy feeling, I'm not really feeling that I should go out and, and enjoy a morning walk this morning. So, in order to bring about some calmness to my mind, I've decided to do something that I do very regularly. When I'm in a situation when my mind is going all over the place, when I feel that there is something incredibly heavy that's sitting on my head, all I do is simply meditate. And that is what I'm going to show you today. Just a glimpse of how I meditate and hopefully this will help me to bring my mind back into the calmness that I really enjoy. A very common problem that most people who live alone face is the fact that they feel often lost. They are so lonely in their life that they sometimes start having these thoughts about do I really need to live? Is there anybody who really cares if I live or die? Now a lot of these thoughts also cross my mind. But the only thing that has helped me to actually stay calm and grounded is meditation. I am so grateful that this was something that my wife pushed me to do. And because of her insistence, I started trying doing this. And now it's been many years that I've been following this practice. I have to admit, I don't do it as regularly that I should. But honestly, twice or thrice a week, when I really feel low or I feel depressed or I feel sad, I simply do this practice. Just like this morning, as I have woken up on time, but I don't feel the need to leave my home, I still feel the need to calm my mind. And hence, I will now be doing meditation for some time. This practice is something you can do at any given point of time. While I'm sitting here on a yoga mat, you don't really need a mat. You can simply be sitting on your bed or on a sofa or on your chair and simply closing your eyes. I do end up listening to some nice, relaxing, meditative music as I do my meditation. If you have an option to do that, it is great. If not, you can simply shut your eyes and enjoy the beauty of meditation. Thoughts will keep coming and going. Don't try to catch them. That's the beauty of it. If you're thinking about something, just let it go. The whole idea of letting your thoughts flow is what makes meditation a powerful technique. So, I'm now going to put on some meditative music and enjoy the meditation for some time. Thank you very much again for joining me on day 5 of the Wake Up Early Challenge. I will see you tomorrow on day 6 of the challenge. And if you have any comments with regards to this journey of mine, do comment, like and share the video so that more and more people could get inspired and join in the journey.